In today's video, I am taking one lens for a walkabout, kind of around town, around the surrounding area, as an exercise in observation, visualization, and creativity. I hope you'll enjoy the video. If you do, and you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe before you go. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. This video is kind of prompted by a little bit of a guilt trip. I fully intended to get up early this morning and go out and do an early morning shoot. But when I was trying to find a suitable location yesterday, I just couldn't get inspired by anything. So I didn't get up. And of course, by mid morning, I was feeling guilty that I hadn't taken the opportunity to go out. So what I thought I would do is go out today and do a little exercise. I've picked one single lens on my camera, handheld, and I'm going to see what I can find to shoot with it. I'm not looking to get snapshots, I want to try and do something creative and interesting. So what lens have I picked and why? Well it's a 28mm fixed focal length lens, no zoom lens. 28mm uh, is around 45mm on a full frame equivalent. Um, and that's not a focal length that I shoot with very often, so I thought it would be a good one to kind of stretch myself with a little bit. It also has a hidden little trick because it's also a macro lens, so uh, I haven't done any macro for a while, so if I get a chance for some macro, I'll do that. What I want to do is just have a walk around, try and find some interesting creative possibilities, perhaps in less than obvious places. I don't know what I'm going to find. Come along and uh, we'll see. This tree is absolutely gorgeous. Just unfortunately, the setting isn't that great for it. If this was you know, out in the open somewhere, it'd make a beautiful subject. Still wonder if there's something I can do with it. Have a little wander around and see. I've had a good look around this tree and as beautiful as this tree is, just the location that it's in makes it really hard to kind of try and bring out the beauty of it. I was kind of thinking of maybe shooting just part of it, maybe the shapes of the branches, but I don't think it's going to work. Yeah, okay, I'm giving up on the tree. On another day when it's not so windy, there might be a possibility to do something kind of closer in there. or. There's also a possibility of coming and shooting it with a wide angle lens or maybe even with a fisheye lens. But at the moment, no, too windy. There's actually quite a lot of people about today. It's a, a bit of an odd day. Tomorrow is a national holiday. Today is a Monday. So a lot of people are taking today as holiday, as like a bridge day between the weekend and the public holiday. And just to make things even more interesting, Saturday was a regional holiday, and this coming Friday is a town fiesta. It would be part of the celebration of the Moors and Christians, although it's obviously a much subdued celebration this year, but at least there's something going on. But the big, uh, the really big festivities aren't taking place this year. Okay, so here's an idea. We got these uh, like stone railings here. And I think if I get in quite close to them with a, a vertical orientation, in black and white, the shapes on them and the way that the light's falling on them might make for something a little bit creative and a bit interesting. I guess we'll see. So the important thing I want to do is try and get the background nice and dark. 
I don't want any details in the background, I just want the shapes of these things. That's quite cool. shaped barriers here it's actually over the tram lines and I'm thinking there might be an image to be had here I don't really want to go across onto the roundabout I think that might be a bit dangerous I'll we'll wait for there's no cars black and white again Looks quite nice with the clouds. Might have to crop it in just a little bit. tempted to try some macro on these flowers but uh, it's too windy they're just blowing around all over the place It'd be a nightmare I do love these trees I think they're banyan trees There's something about the sort of the shapes and the twists and the textures in the branches unfortunately you only ever find them in sort of like little park areas like this there's some in Alicante as well these ones are quite small but I can't help but think maybe getting in a bit closer to them and just picking out the shapes and the twists and the texture should look nice if I can get the composition right let's see what we can do So wondering if there's a possibility of doing something with the leaves maybe with the shape and the leaves but I just can't see how that's going to work especially as the leaves are moving around quite a lot we'll see we'll give it a go I think that's about it for me I've had a nice walk around and just played basically taking pictures whether I've got anything any good or not as always I don't know if the images have worked I'll show you if they haven't worked well I guess I'll show you those as well but maybe I'll explain why I haven't worked <laughs> either way I hope you've enjoyed the video probably something a little bit different if you have enjoyed it please give it a like share it on social media don't forget about leaving me a comment let me know what you think and if this is an exercise that you've done or maybe fancy trying then give it a go and let me know how you get on if you've enjoyed this video and you're new here don't forget to uh, hit subscribe before you go 
And as always, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch, so thank you very much. And until the next video, bye.